Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tech Sumer, talking to you here. And in today's video, I want to talk about the Apple March event. Yes, the Apple March event. This event happens every single year. Some years we get some cool hardware. Other years we get some cool events about streaming. But what is for sure is the presence of this event. This has become one of the most regular events on Apple's schedule. They have WWDC, they have the iPhone September event, and then of course, they have the Apple March event. In this event, they mostly focused on consumer type products other than pro products. But I do believe that this year that's about to change. I'm pretty sure we are getting something special in Apple's March event of 2023. So if you are excited, I will talk about all of that in today's video. Do not forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for all of your support on my last car review. I hope you that enjoyed that video. That was a very, very hard video to do. It took me almost one week to head it. So enjoy that video. I will have more car reviews to come in the future. Thank you guys for all the support. Let's get started. So if you don't know, Apple for the last three years has refreshed the iPhone colors every time on the Apple's March event. The first year was the iPhone 12 with a purple. Then it was the iPhone 13 with the green as you can see back there. And I think that was my favorite color. But now we are expecting another iPhone color upgrade. Yes, the same iPhone, the same iPhone 14 and 14 Pro. But those phones will get a new color. I don't know which color Apple will choose. For me, they could do another green. I do love their green. It's a beautiful color, their midnight green or their forest green that they like to call. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I hope I had that color on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I was unfortunate enough to have chosen that color at that time. I did not have any choice, and so I ended up with my Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max. But other than that, I do believe it's pretty much for sure and confirmed that we should expect another iPhone color, especially if Apple wants to boost their sales around the mid-term cycle of the iPhone. So I'm pretty much sure we will get a new color for the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus, and about the same color, but just a little bit better for the Pro models, the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I'm really excited to see which colors Apple will release. As you know, I won't buy them. It just doesn't make any sense for them to review. I already made the review for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I bought it in September and I made my full review. I have my full review and more videos on about comparisons against my iPhone 13 Pro Max on my channel. So go check it out. I have tons of videos on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I've returned that phone, so I don't have it anymore. So if you are interested in more reviews about the iPhone 14 Pro Max, go check it out on my channel below. But I think that's it. Shouldn't expect anything more in terms of the iPhone lineup for the Apple March event. No more iPhone ACs. According to Mark Kerman, Minchi Kuo, those iPhones were canceled because Apple did not see many sales on the lower end iPhones and on the mini sized iPhones. So I don't believe Apple will release another iPhone AC for a very long time. So what can we expect more for the Apple March event? Well, as you know, a lot of rumors had pointed out that Apple needs to release the Mac Pro. According to Mark Kerman, we should get the Mac Pro pretty soon. I have still very doubts if we are going to see the Mac Pro on the Apple March event, or are we getting the Mac Pro on WWDC? I'm not sure, but I think we are getting it in the next few months. So if we end up seeing it on the Apple March event, that would be pretty cool. According to Mark Kerman, this Mac Pro will have the M2 Ultra equivalent chip, so no M2 Extreme. This M2 Ultra will be made on the same guidelines that the M1 Ultra was made. So about two M1 Maxes were made into one M1 Ultra and now two M2 Maxes will be made with the Fusion layer, probably a Fusion 2.0 layer that Apple will call it, into an M2 Ultra. This ship should see more improvements in terms of performance, power, GPU capabilities. We should expect an even more options for RAM because Apple increased the option for the M2 Max until 96 bytes of RAM. So I'm expecting at least 192 gigabytes of RAM for this Mac Pro. I'm really, really excited to see what power can Apple pack in in a huge Mac Pro and which technologies will Apple choose so we can still have an ARM machine which has an integrated GPU, an integrated CPU, integrated RAM and integrated storage all in the same SOC. I'm really excited to see what Apple builds into a modular computer. No, not the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio was not modular in my opinion. 
but I'm really excited to see what Apple can do with a modular Apple Silicon computer. I think they will do some type of external expansion cards for your ARM CPU and probably some SSDs you can upgrade. So external SSD so you can improve your storage. That would be my bet. And I'm really excited to see how much this computer starts because it's really interesting to analyze the Mac lineup now that we have a full Mac lineup transition. If Apple releases the Mac Pro for about five to $6,000, like the base entry model, then no confusion will be made because the Mac Studio starts at $2,000. But Apple decides to release the Mac Pro three, $4,000. Then I'm really excited to see what will be the difference between the Mac Studio. Because if you don't know, the M1 Ultra Mac Studio starts around $3,000, $3.5,000. So I'm pretty excited to see what Apple will choose to do with the Mac Pro. I do believe the Mac Studio won't be released anymore. I think that the Apple released the Mac Studio as a transition device while they were trying to figure it out how they will build and release the Mac Pro. So I don't think Apple will release or at least upgrade the Mac Studio in a long time. I think they will do the same thing they did with the iMac Pro. Just forget about it. But I do believe it's a mistake because the Mac Studio is a pretty cool machine, very small, very compact, very aesthetic, that on a desk just looks great. While the Mac Pro, although looks great, very aesthetic, a very cool industrial design, the cheese gritty design to be big, very, very big. So I'm excited to see what Apple can do with the Mac Pro. And what can we see from this ultimate Mac? No performance will be left on the table. Apple needs to take this computer to the extreme. And in my opinion, they should have released the M2 Extreme machine, but they didn't. They chose to keep the M2 Ultra only on the Mac Pro, and I think they will regret it. But let me know in the comments below what you think about the Mac Pro. To finish up this Apple March event cover, I think there's one more product that we should expect for the next few months, and that's the Apple VR headset. Yes, that headset that so many people are talking about, and it's so exciting to see because it's a new product category for Apple that I'm really, really excited to see what they do with. This will be a very expensive product. I probably won't be able to buy it because I'm poor, but I would like to see if Apple releases something innovative in this space. The Apple VR headset is truly, truly incredible. And I do like the looks of it. I think that the Apple VR headset is the top of the line. They will introduce this VR headset just like they did the AirPods Max on the headphone lineup, just like they did with the HomePod, the first generation HomePod, that ultra expensive, ultra capable device. But it has tights to the Apple ecosystem. So it's tied, you cannot have it separate from the Apple ecosystem. It doesn't work that way. Just like the AirPods Max did, just like the HomePod did, this Apple VR headset will be extremely focused on the Apple ecosystem. And so it will be very tight to it. But I'm really excited to see what Apple can do. I'm not sure if this headset will come out on the Apple March event. I'm pretty much sure. And if you ask me, in my opinion, without any leak knowledge, Apple will release this headset on WWDC because they will probably want this Apple VR headset to be coupled together with some lessons, some workshops, other media, other events, online small Zoom events, where they can explain to developers their strategy with their AR OS. But what can they do on the Apple March event for the Apple VR headset? I don't think they do much. I think they will probably announce some type of strategy going forward for AR, new technology, new feature coming for iPhone on the software like iOS. And then this will be a little bit of a hint for what's coming for Apple WWDC. I do believe this Apple March event will be very short because I think that the Mac Pro will come out in this event. I think that the iPhone caller will come out this event, but it's pretty easily debatable because the Mac Pro can come out on WWDC together with the Apple VR headset. So the biggest powerhouse for the biggest, newest and shiniest product from Apple coming together about the same event because Apple also has released the Mac Pro several times on WWDC and ever otherwise. And of course, because a new iPhone caller, especially for the iPhone 14s, could easily come out on a press release. So I'm still not sure if this event will happen. But because it happens every single year and Apple likes to do an event in March, these are the only products that have been talked. These are the only products that have been in talks for next release. So coming soon, these are probably the three products coming soon. A new iPhone caller, 
the Mac Pro and the Apple VR headset. I'm not finished with the Apple VR headset. I will have more videos on that. That the Apple VR headset will change lives. This will be a game-changing product and the first generation product for the Apple AR section. I do believe this will be a very cool mixed reality headset that will combine virtual reality and artificial reality and augmented reality. I'm really excited to see what Apple can do. I cannot wait. I never tried VR headset before. I would like to buy one, a Meta Quest maybe, but I'm pretty undecided. So let's see what happens. I would like to buy the Apple VR headset and see how it goes, but I'm not sure. This Apple VR set though will be expensive, like I told you, around $3,000 because it will come with tons of tech. Two mini LED displays, 8K mini LED displays, two micro LED displays, two 8K displays. And these are the most probably expensive parts of this headset. Then it will be built with an external battery so it doesn't weigh on your head. And of course, they will be using some fabric, probably some tissues like the AirPods Max and some materials like the AirPods Max which are very premium but still very light and they will probably choose carbon fiber instead of the stainless steel and aluminium they use on the AirPods Max. But I'm really excited to see what happens with the Apple VR Studio, with the Apple VR goggles. I think this will be such a cool thing to see and I cannot wait to see Apple enter a new market because every time they do, they make a splash. Thank you, Apple. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. It has been an incredible journey. I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. It has been an incredible journey. Don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to my channel and leave in the comments down below while you're there, which is your favorite Apple product coming in the next few months. And do you think the Apple March event will happen? That's been it guys. This has been Tech Smart talking to you here. Bye-bye.